Riverdale. Crack. Happy April Fool's Day. This story is bigger than we thought. I started asking around to see if what happened to you happened to anyone else. If anyone would go on record. I will. 100%. Okay. It's five guys on the football team. Chuck and his posse. Ethel was just about to tell us. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. And it's 24 hours later and I, don't, I ain't find none yet. You know Trev Brown, right? Valerie's brother? Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> he used to be on the football team. But I quit. When I saw Chuck's playbook. And I may know where it is. Football players behaving badly? What else is new? Steubenville, Glenridge, the coach's son being the ringleader? I mean, just how depraved is this town? <laughs> It's been a week since the discovery of Jason Blossom's body. But his death is not the first, nor would it be the last casualty that the town of Riverdale would suffer. The Twilight Drive-In, where I work, my home away from home, a piece of town history is closing for good, just when we needed a place to escape to the most. With Sheriff Keller knocking on every door, a neighbor suspecting neighbor, Riverdale, every day that passes, is becoming more like Salem during the witch trials. And meanwhile, the girl next door, our friendly neighborhood Hitchcock blonde, Betty Cooper, was wrestling with the knowledge that her best friend, Archie Andrews, was caught up in a forbidden romance. Oh, oh, oh. See what happens? Dude, are you okay? There are strangers in my house. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Joaquin, by the way. Give me your phone. This is my number. Use it. Every time. As as in as in share, Keller? Is that a problem? Is is this a problem? I won't tell if you won't. Shaking my bonbons for each and every one of them. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, unless the audience beats you too. You hear that? We must be getting close. Hold on. We're here! Hope you enjoyed this fellows.